Witch in the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, adapted by Glyn Robbins. Episode 4, the children and the beavers are on their journey to find Aslan. Oh, there are some beautiful blue flowers too. They're called bluebells, dearie. What a lovely smell. Just listen to that glorious sound. It's your thrush. What are those little yellow flowers called? Celandines, or is it Thelandines? They're actually buttercups, my dear. Oh, do look. There are snowdrops over there. And crocuses. Or is it croci? Feel the wind in your fur. What was that? It zizzed past my nose. It was a bee. Good gracious me, a bee? I haven't seen a bee in years and years and years. You've never seen a bee, my dear. Only read about them in books. True, Mrs. Beaver, very true. <coughs> what was that strange noise? Was that you, Mrs. Beaver, saying guck goo to me? Guck goo, Mr. Beaver? <laughs> that wasn't guck goo, it was cuckoo. The bird's called a cuckoo. It's bird song. <laughs> and a very strange song indeed, family of Seastor. The flowers are growing so very quickly. Can you see? I expect you were too. You had a sudden shower of fresh water to wake you up from a very long, sleepy winter. With some lovely spring sunshine to warm you up and dry off your fur. What does that great poet say now? Wet fur, warm sun, dry fur, great fun. I'm getting tired. Oh, and I'm getting a blister. We must have walked for miles and miles. Are we nearly there? Not long now. Come on, everyone. And look at this. It's the sea. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. of Adam must always go first. Remember the rules of politeness. In that case, Susan, you go. Ladies first. No, not the eldest. Oh, come on, you two. Pull yourself together. Aslan. We are here. And you are most welcome, Peter, son of Adam. Welcome to Susan and Lucy, daughters of Eve. Welcome he beaver and she beaver. But where is the fourth? Where is the other son of Adam? To our great shame, he has tried to betray us all, O oh mighty one, and join the white witch and her evil pack. I'm afraid that was partly my fault, Aslan. I was angry with him. I think that helped him to go wrong. Please, Aslan, sir, can't anything be done to save our brother Edmund? Everything that must be done shall be done, but it may be harder than you think. Meanwhile, a feast shall be prepared. Leopards, take these daughters of Eve into my pavilion and minister to their needs. Guard them well. The white witch and her evil pack may be close at hand. Take our faithful friends, the beavers, and look after them as well. Come, son of Adam. I will show you the site of the castle where you are to be king. It is breathtaking, sire. The whole of the countryside seems to be on fire with the light of the setting sun. What do you see? The forest. Hills. A deep valley. Is that a silver snake? No. It is a great river running gently to the sea. What else? Nothing. Wait. There. Just there. Where the mouth of the river meets the sea. It looks like a star. A great star resting upon the seashore. That. Peter, son of Adam, is Care Paravel, the castle of four thrones, and one of which you must sit as king. 
I will show it to you, because you are the first one, the eldest, and so will be high king over all the rest. What's that? Your sister's ivory horn. She's in desperate need of help. Yes, he did help me, it's a wolf! Good heavens, help my brother! Back, Nefer. Let the prince be his bears. There's another wolf, Peter. Save me, please! Leopards, I can see Morgrim in the thicket. Follow him. He will be going to his mistress. Quick, leopards, quick! Here is your chance to find the witch and rescue the son of Adam. Now, Peter, hand me your sword. You have forgotten to wipe the blade. What do they teach people at school these days? Kneel, Peter. Rise up, Sir Peter Wasbane. And whatever happens, never forget to wipe your sword. Come. Come on, faster. It's no use. They must have reached its own table by now. Morgan will soon bring us news. It can only be bad news. Four thrones at Ker Pavel. But if only three were occupied, then the prophecy would not be fulfilled. What difference would that make now he is here? He may not stay for long. Then we could attack the three at the castle. Rather than kill this brat, it might be better to keep him for bargaining with. Oh yes, and have him rescued, I suppose. No, much better to kill him now. Well, we better do what we have to do at once. I would have liked to have done it at the stone table. That is the proper place. That is where it has always been done before. Majesty, I have seen them. It's too late. They are at the stone table. With him! And disaster! They have killed my best lieutenant. One of those accursed sons of Adam killed him. A wolf killed. Killed by a son of Adam. And summon all our people here to meet me as speedily as they can. Call out the ghouls, the boggles, the ogres, the trolls, and the minotaurs. Call out the cruels, the wickeds, the hags, the spectres, and the people of the poisonous toadstools. We will fight, and we will win. Have I not still my magic wand? Can we not turn their miserable army to stone? When we are assembled, we will all march on the stone table. Now, let us get on with this lesser matter. Prepare the vermin. On your knees, boy. Ah. Son of Adam, die. Stop. No. Dwarf, attack. The leopards. Don't worry, Majesty. Grumpskin could take them leopards. Ooh! Um, why are we dancing? Um, if, if they spin me for much longer, I will um, uh, fall over. Ooh! That's my stomach. Wow! That's my head. Oh no, I think I'm gonna. Who's got the witch? You have. No, I haven't. You have. I thought you had her. I was after the dwarf. Do you mean she's escaped? I can't do everything. I've got the son of Adam. You always get things wrong. What are we going to tell the master? I don't know. I'll think something. Come on. I'm sorry, Aslan. Is it true? Is it true? It must be, dearie. We heard it from one of the leopards himself. 
First paw, as it were. Have you heard? Isn't it wonderful? It is true, then. Yes, they rescued Edmund last night. But unfortunately, in all the confusion, the witch got away. Still, they think she was badly hurt, so she can't have got far. Where's Edmund now? And how is he? He's fine, a bit shaken, and he's had a great fright. But Aslan's talking with him now. Here is your brother at last. He has something to say to you. There's no need now to talk to him about what is past. Oh, Edmund. Sire, a messenger has arrived from the enemy. Let the messenger approach. What is your message, son of earth? Mm. Uh, greetings, um, Asla, uh, the, que the Queen of Narnia. Queen of Narnia, indeed. She's got a cheek. Peace, Beaver. All names and titles will soon be restored to the rightful owners. Um, the, the Queen of, um, that is, the, um, the Empress of the Lone Islands desires a um, safe conduct that she may come and speak with you on um, uh, a matter which is much to your advantage as to hers. Son of Earth, tell your mistress that I grant her safe conduct on the condition that she leaves her magic wand behind her at the great oak tree. I am um, I'm already empowered to agree that condition, um, therefore I will return and bring her here. Leopard, go with him and ensure the condition is carried out. But suppose she changes the leopards to stone too? Mighty Aslan wouldn't send them if they weren't all right. Mm, I suppose not. I wonder if she really is badly hurt. You have a traitor there, Aslan. His offence was not against you, witch. Have you forgotten the deep magic? Let us say I have forgotten it. Tell us all of this deep magic. Tell you. Tell you what is written in letters as deep as a spearhead is long on the stone table that stands there beside us. You know very well that every traitor belongs to me as lawful prey, and that for every treachery I have the right to kill. That human creature, that son of Adam, is mine. His life is forfeit to me. His blood is my property. Come and take it then. Little fool. Do you really think you can rob me of my rights by mere force? Your master knows the deep magic better than that. Unless I have the blood, as the law says, all Narnia will be overwhelmed and perish in fire and water. I do not deny it. Oh, Aslan. Can't we, can't we do something about the deep magic? Isn't there some spell you could work against it? Work against the Emperor's deep magic? Do not ever suggest that again, daughter of Eve. Fall back, all of you. I would like to talk with the White Witch alone. But, Aslan, how do I know your promise will be kept? You must all listen now. You've settled the matter. The witch has renounced her right to your brother's blood. Oh, thank goodness. Peter, we must now discuss the battle. You must be worn out, dears. Come along now. It's almost moon up and time for all good folk to be tucked up. Tight and safe in bed. Come on! In The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Peter was played by Hal Chessel, Susan by Sky Mayo, Edmund by Alex Morgan, and Lucy by Chloe Bond. Mr. Beaver was played by Henry Miller, Mrs. Beaver by Imogen Marshall, Mary Mayabu was Aslan, Gabriella Hawker was the White Witch. Morgan was played by Georgia Toms and Grumpskin by Poppy Turley. The Leopards were played by Dariana Kawonga and Sophie Getty. Music was by Alex Oshitinsky. The assistant director was Maddie Allison and the director was Freya Oshitinsky. This was a lockdown production for Wilton Grange. <laughs>